Hey YouTube, it is Ben here with the 60 gallon cichlid tank and today's topic is five reasons why you should not five reasons why you should not get into the hobby of African cichlids reason number one if you get into this hobby you are going to spend money it's just a fact you're gonna want a bigger tank you're gonna see a fish in someone's video and you're gonna fall in love with that fish and you're gonna find that fish and if you have to have it shipped to you you will have it shipped to you and that shipping will cost you thirty forty dollars and you will not care you're gonna want a better filter you're going to want better media. So let, reason number one for not getting into this hobby is you're going to be spending a lot of money. And you know what? You're going to spend that money and you're not going to care. Reason number two, you're going to spend a lot of time. You're going to spend a lot of time cleaning vacuuming, scraping algae off your glass, you're going to be rock scraping, you're going to be raising fry, and you're going to have a lot of time invested in this hobby. And all those hours that you spend, that you could have been doing something else, You're not going to care. Reason number three why you should not get into African cichlids. This hobby will make you a liar. <laughs> you will not tell your wife how much you spent for that fish. You will not tell your friends that are in the hobby how much you paid for that filter. They will not understand. So reason number three, the hobby will make you lie. <laughs> reason number four, you should not get into African cichlids. Reason number four, you will never be happy. You will see a fish that you will never own and wish you could. You will see a tank that looks bigger and better than any tank you will ever own. You will see folks who have better filtration, better media, more expensive filtration than you could ever buy and you will suffer <laughs> but in the end it's okay you'll do it anyway the last and final reason why you should never get into African cichlids is because sooner or later you're going to get into a contentious discussion with somebody you're going to get into a heated discussion about a subject that really in the total scheme of things doesn't really matter that much but you're going to defend your brand of filter you're going to defend your type of media you're gonna argue with somebody about mixing peacocks and mabunas you're gonna discuss and get heated about the level of protein in their food versus the fillers in the food you're using. Sooner or later, you're going to get in an argument that has to do with keeping African cichlids. Those are my five reasons for why you should never get involved in African cichlids. And I'm going to finish this video by saying this, do it anyway, <laughs> because it's a lot of fun and just look at these babies, okay?
So go ahead and get involved, involved in it anyway. The pleasure and the satisfaction of watching these guys grow up, of watching them color up, is worth the aggravation and the five reasons which I half-jokingly have shared with you here today, all right? So there you have it. Enjoy the hobby. And thank you so much for tuning in and watching. And I do appreciate it if you rate and comment and subscribe. I apologize for the uh, glare, by the way. I don't normally film during the day. But these guys were looking pretty good. I just had to post a video. All right? All right. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, enjoy the hobby. I certainly do.